Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So good day again everyone Today we will be learning how to graph an ellipsis that is not on the general form Let me just um, show to you The general form is just simply this one Okay This one po. These are your general forms or the standard forms for an ellipsis Okay So you will notice that our given is a of course not in the general um, form so what we need to do is we need to make it look like that and we make it look like the general form or the standard form so there are many terms okay by just simply manipulating our given and we manipulate by using the um, completing the square okay so the first thing that you do when you when it comes to completing the square is we need to make it um, uh, we need to find okay the constant that we will add on both sides to make it a perfect square trinomial okay and another thing is when it comes to completing the square the x squared must be alone okay and at the same time um when you're adding on the other side okay you must multiply it by the uh by the numerical coefficient of x squared so you will see that later so let's just start okay so first thing that you have to do is you have to combine nine x the all the x's, okay, and then of course you always have to have plus, and you have your six y's, okay. So in this case, Paul, what would happen here? Okay, what would happen here is just simply you're combining um, all the x's and y's, and at the same time it's always plus here on the middle. And whatever the sign of y squared you will take okay so having this let's start with the completing the square what you need to do is you have to take out okay uh, Alice nyo, you will put outside the numerical coefficient of x squared and y squared so in this case 9 will be outside but of course if you take out 9 you have to take out um, the a factor of 9 on 126 as well so this would simply be 14x so what happens here is it's just like distributive property okay plus you have 16 y squared plus and 64 divided by 16 the answer is 4 y equals to 71 the next thing that you need to do is you have to apply completing the square on this part okay so what would happen here is you will have this you have to take the 14 divided by 2 and get the square 14 divided by 2 is simply 7 and 7 squared is 49 okay so meaning you will add 49 here okay but you're not yet done huh? you need to add 49 as well on the other side but there's a specific way of adding 49 there okay plus 16 16 squared plus the same method you take the 4 divide it by 2 and get the square 4 divided by 2 is 2 and get the square the answer is still 4 okay so in this case this would be plus 4y plus 4 equals to 71 and then again you have to add on both sides so you added 4 here 49 here you added 4 here but you will notice that you cannot add immediately because there's a number outside. So for you to be able to um, to have equality, balanced equality, you need to add 9 times 49, whatever is outside, times the, um, the added term, plus, just minimize, plus 16 times 4. Because 16 and you have 4 here. Okay? So now you can complete the square. You have completed the square, and now you can express the given in its um, factored form, which is of course the square of a binomial. Okay. So in this case, it's nine times x minus seven squared. So what happened there is I got I got the square of forty nine, and that is seven, and I got the sign on the middle. Okay. Plus sixteen y plus 2 squared equals to you just have to evaluate this one it's actually quite easy so it's just going to be 49 uh, times 9 
and you have 16 times 4. So 49 times 9 is just simply 441 and 16 times 4 is just simply 64. Okay, and add them all up. 64 plus 441. For what? 64 plus 441 plus 71. The answer is 576. So, seems easy enough. But the last thing you have to do is you have to eliminate the 9 and 16. And at the same time, you have to eliminate 576. Because you will notice in any given standard form, it's always 1 here. And how do we make a number 1? We divide it by itself. 576 and you have 576. So why did I divide 576 on the other side as well? It's because of the loss of equality. Whatever you do, operate on the left side, you always operate on the right side. Okay. So what I did on the, left, on the right side is um, I divided by 576 which equates to 1. And this one, I divide also on 576. We simplify this one. Fraction, 9 over 576. The answer is... Sorry for a while. 576 divided by 9. The answer is 64. And this is 1. And 576 divided by 16. The answer is 36. So our given now would simply be x minus 7 squared over 64 plus y plus 2 squared over 36 equals to 1. And then again, it, it now looks like um, our, uh, it looks like our, what do you call this, our ellipsis standard form. And then you can apply the means that we saw this one. Okay, so you can just repeat the process. Okay, so I will not repeat that process. I will leave that to you. Okay, this is one example of um, solving our, I, I mean, um, changing our, uh, any equation that will be given to you into the standard form of an ellipsis. Okay, so thank you for listening everyone and Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.